Sports fans, welcome to the Joe Kane Court on the campus of Greta Lola Technical High School for tonight's non-league action between the Greta Lola Griffins and the Revere Patriots. The Patriots come into tonight's game four and nine on the season, having won their last game 60 to 47 against Malden on their home court. Meanwhile, the host Griffins are two and nine, zero oh and five in Commonwealth. Commonwealth Athletic Conference action. The starting lineups for tonight's game are number 10, the soft, number one, correction, number one, sophomore forward, five foot six, Brendan Justa. Number 11, number two, junior, Damian Jackson, Jackman. And game is underway. Danny Luna with the basketball, dribbling out at the top of the key. He passes it over to Jutes, Jusus, Jusus dribbles, tries to drive, met with two guys, swings the basketball around, out to Jackman again. Direction Luna, Luna steps back, jump, jump shot is short, rebound, Greta Lowell's 25, Grayson McDonald who kicks it out of bounds, turnover for the Griffins. Inbound to number zero, Joshua Mercado, the uh, junior, kicks it over. They get across the half court line. They kick it inside. Stolen by the Griffins, driving it up. Pulls up, pulls it out. Luna, Luna's trying to do it. Nope, goes down low, kicks it back out. Meyer squad trying to work the basketball, trying to find a good shot. Back to Luna again. Luna dribbles left in his bright green shoes, delayed dribble, looks for a screen, drives to the hole, kicks it out, balls away, kicks it back out to the top, balls away, in and out, rebound. Oh, no, turnover. Easy layup here for the Patriots. Oh, and it's blocked! Nice block by number one, Brenda Jutsis. Shots away, no, off yes, offensive rebound. Jude Siskins comes back, puts it in. That's the first point of the game. Kicks it long, out of bounds, off of the Patriots. It'll be uh, Griffin's basketball. Myers in his second season came over from Drake at high school, where he's a very successful varsity basketball coach. Luna takes it across half court. He's looking right, kicks it underneath. 
Layup is blocked, but we're gonna get a foul on number five for the Patriots. That's Sean Burnett, the six foot two sophomore. Two shots for number 25, Grayson McDonald, the six foot four forward. Donald toe in line, dribble, dribble. Nice sweet touch, gets that to all net. 3-0 Griffin lead. Second shot. Sweet touch again all net. 4-0 Griffin's lead. Patriots gonna pull it up, they're trying to break quickly. Tight defense, trapping defense by the Griffins. Lost basketball again, recovered by the, the Patriots. Balls up and in. Easy basket, high arcing shot there by number 11, Captain Andrew Leone, the six foot one senior for the Patriots. Luna again, Luna's gonna lead the basket, cuts it in, left-handed layup is good. 6-2, Griffin lead. Trapping basket here by the uh, Griffins, stolen. Number two, takes it down, loses his dribble a little, regains it, kicks it back out. McDonald's got the basketball, he kicks it out to Luna. Luna's looking, gets a pick from Grayson, pulls it up, kicks it down, down into the low block. Hook shot is no good. Rebound by the Griffins on the floor, traveling is the call. Joshua Mercado with the basketball. He's bringing it up, kicking it back, they're kicking it, playing a little two-way game, trying to get it over the half court. Ball will be, yep, saved by the Patriots. Kicking it to the low block, number 12, kicking it out again. They're gonna drive left-handed. High arcing shot is good. 6-4 is the uh, Griffin lead now. Basket by number 12, Captain Luke Ellis, six foot three, senior for the Patriots. High pick. Luna takes it left. Switches to his right hand, tries to push up a layup, no good. Rebound. Griffins, they kick it out to Grayson McDonald. McDonald back inside to number three. Lost basketball. Kick it out. 13 with the break. He's gonna pull it up. He's gonna try to kick it around. Cross court, three pointers away. All net. Number 11, Andrew Leone. The 6-1 senior for the Patriots with that three-pointer, giving them a 7-6 lead here midway through the first quarter. Number two driving, kicks left, no, in and out. Scrum, Griffin's basketball, number three with the basket. He kicks it out to Luna again. Luna's up top, guarded by number 11, Captain Andrew Leone. Luna again, pulls his dribble up, kicks it over to number two. Damian Jackman, basket. McDonald gets picked in the low post. Kick it up and in, number 23, Luna with the rebound. Kicks it back up, eight, seven. Griffin retake the lead. Kicked over 11. Looks like a three, two zone. Griffin's throwing a three, two zone at the uh, that's a switching zone, actually. And basketball's away. That's another three-pointer. This one by number 12, Luke Ellis, the six-foot-three senior for the Patriots. Luna drives, takes it up, lays it up, and in. Back and forth tie ball game now. Griffin's trying to trap the basketball as it goes. Pushing off, gets the man in the air. He's going to get number three, I believe, for the foul. Looks like they called it on Damian Jackman, his first. First free throw is short for number 11, the captain. Second one a little more arc, but a little too hard. Rebound, 
Griffins, they're gonna drive. Bringing it up the middle. Underneath the basket, number two with the layup. That's Damian Jackman. The junior. Steal attempt goes short. Up and under. Count it, and one. Number five, got the man in the air. That's Sean Burnett, the six foot two sophomore. Looks like fouls called on number 23, although number three is coming out, so maybe that was Dylan Newbegin getting called for the foul. That's all net. So and one, 13-12, Patriots lead. Moon has got the basketball swapping hands there. Try, got, needs to get it over the half court line. They're gonna bring it up to trap. They're gonna trap the big man. Back over to Luna. Luna has the basketball, they're running. He goes down low, he throws it away. Almost steal. Luna gets dirty. Up with the, with the basketball, number two. He's gonna take it to the hole. He loses it when he tries to stop. That was Damian Jackman. 13 is short with the easy layup. Basket's up there. Two Patriots dot jumping for it. Finally rebounded by number one, Brendan Jutsi for the Griffins. They bring it up, he kicks it over to Luna. Over the half court line, back to Luna. Deep three on that one, all good there. 15-13, Griffins lead. And we got three point barrage, that ball is gonna be back rim, kicked over across. Leaping shot, that's number 13 with the basket there. Ethan Day, the 6'1", junior. Luna with the basketball. Kicks it, tries to kick it in into between two guys, picked off. Turnover, Griffins. Bad pass there. Quick dribble there. Joshua Mercado can't get it, he gets picked. Two man break. Up, oh, short. Second chance shot by number two. Damian Jackman is good. First one was just short, switching hands in the air, does not work. And another shot on and foul. Number 12, the captain. Luke Ellis makes the basket and gets the plus one. As the foul, he's caught, hit on the, the active shooting, makes the basket, gets the additional shot on the foul. That shot is short. Griffins lose control, but pick it back up. Luna brings it across the half court. They trap him immediately. Needs to find a teammate to get it to. Kicks it over to Newbegin, I believe. Jackman, correction. Luna with the basketball. Kicks it off of his foot, kicks it away. Three, three on one break. Back to a two on two break. Looks more like a wrestling match. He's on the end line, referee rules. Turnover, Patriots. Number 10, arguing with the official. Ryan El Babor, the 6'1 senior. Luna top, kicks it away. Ball is no good, last second shot by number 35. David Sandin, no good, All, only rim. So at the end of one quarter, we're tied 17 all here at Joe Kane Court on the campus of Greater Lowell High School. So in spite of their diversion records, two and nine versus four and nine, this is a very tight ball game in this non-league. I believe it's gonna be division five or six matchup between the Revere Patriots and the Greater Lowell Tech Griffins. Myers still has his uh, team in the huddle after the first quarter. Mercado brings it across half court, guarded by Luna. Takes it into the low post. No such luck, he's back out, he's gonna get, no he's not gonna get trapped. 
Myers telling his guys to keep their hands up on defense. Left-handed dribble kicked across. Kicked it to the lane. Oh, pickpocket. And shot is no good. Danny Luna picked his pocket clean. Drove to the hoop. Gets the foul, but doesn't get the shot. Two shots for Luna. The junior. And the flat shot goes through the cylinder. 18-17 lead Griffins. One more shot. Second one's good too, 19-17. Griffins extend their lead to two. Looks to be a version of a band zone. Top looks to be man, bottom looks to be zone. Basketball in and out, picked again. Luna with the basketball, two, one on two break. He pulls it up, no. Pulls up for a jumper, balls in, out. 25 underneath Sandin, I believe. And he puts it back up. Number two. Grayson McDonald corrects the 6 ball forward with that catch and re rebound and put back for two. 21-17. They let him alone in the low block. Number two, 11, no, number 10. Ryan El Babor, the 6-1 senior. Easy layup there. 35, balls away again. Ball's up. Nope, they're off of the Griffins. Turnover Griffins. Two-point lead. Basketball went off his foot as it was going out of bounds. So uh, Patriots basketball underneath the Griffins basket. Number eight, bringing it across the court. That's got to be zero, Josh Mercado. Although it looks for eight from the top of these stands sometimes. Almost another turnover, three-point shot away, in, out. That was a slingshot of a shot. Number two, bringing it across, Damian Jackman. Jackman pulls it out, looking to get. Goes into the block to Grayson McDonald. McDonald gets blocked with a little lazy sky hook. No Kareem Abdul-Jabbar there. Sky hook there goes through for number 10. Ryan El Babor. In a tray. Oh, throws it away, gets trapped against the end line. Griffins try to rip the ball away. They can't get in front of the man. Three pointer, nope. He's going to pull up, come into the paint, gets it. Left handed shot, number 22, Dominic Belmonte. Six, six foot sophomore. Good. Correction, six foot senior. And they're going to call a foul on zero. Pushing him out by the half foot line. Not a smart foul by any means there. Pressure the basketball, but don't hit the offensive player. Wait a second, we've got a... They're going to do it again. Referee wasn't ready, the whistle didn't start, the clock doesn't start. Now the clock starts, number zero with the basketball. Yadiel Delgado calls for the travel. Griffins trailing by two, getting a little out of sorts. They need to relax a little. Mercado with the basketball. Slight man pressure from his Delgado. They try to get a cutter, no such luck. Number one up with the basketball. Zutza, and he misses the layup. Oh, he was out of bounds. He didn't establish himself in bounds. Turnover again for the Griffins. You need to establish your position on the court before you can touch the basketball. Mercado with the basketball, switches hands, cuts across half court. Pick and roll, high arc and shot. Jutsa gets the basketball, gives it to uh, Delgado. Delgado brings it over. 
Luna with the basketball. He's gonna drive, he's gonna pull out, he's gonna drive again. Kicks it over to Jutsa. Jutsa gets blocked out of bounds. Griffin basketball. They'll inbound underneath their own basket. Luna with the basketball underneath the basket. He's trying to find a cutter. He establishes that. In and out, bad roll, no shooters roll there for 25. Grayson McDonald, tough break. Side out of bounds, Mercado with the basketball. Delgado comes up to meet him. Taking the round, throws it right to a Griffin. Breakaway, three on one. He goes straight to the hole, too hard. Basketball off the Griffins, turnover again. 3.52 to go in the second quarter. Griffins trailing 23-21 to the visiting Revere Patriots. Delgado again. Correction, Mercado. Little pick and roll action, they drive to the hole. They kick it around, they're moving the basketball, they give up easy layups. By attempts at easy layups. Ball's thrown away cross court and out of bounds. Mercado couldn't quite get it to the captain. Correction, Ryan Elbabor, the 6'1 senior. Jackman kicks it into Delgado. Delgado brings it a course. Back. Jackman. Whoa. Oh, offensive foul. I believe. Mercado with the basketball. Trying to beat it. Delgado off the dribble. Top of the key pass. Pick and roll again. Left handed and he slips and falls. That basket was good. Luna's got the basketball. He's getting pressure, double tra trap. Maintained Griffin basketball. It went out off of a Patriots shoe apparently. So, the Patriots are showing trap at the mid court line. Griffins have to wake up and be ready for it. Have to have a man open, as if you've got two men on one shooter. Shots away and no good. No good. Luna back out top, kicks it over to, to Jackman. Luna again, high arcing shot. Rim, nothing more. Out. Turn, ball back to the Patriots. What was that? A turnover. Here we go, Delgado. Easy to little extension arm layup. Oh, spin, dribble, and good for El Babor. 27-23, Griffin's trailing. Over to Delgado again. Delgado to two. Jackman to Luna. Back over, around the horn. Drive to the basket, gives up a layup that side, brings it all the way across. Luna's got the basketball. He's throw three of those away, but it's wide left. Turnover, Patriots bring the basketball across half court. Spin dribble, hook shot, no good. Jutsa with the rebound. Luna, he's throwing it ahead. Is it off? Looked like it could have been off the Patriots, but no, official says off the Griffins, nobody touched it. So turnover, number 11 it looks like. Yep, 11 will tap the ball and bounce. Andrew Leone, the 6'1 senior, captain. Leone with the basketball, trying to beat. Jutsa off the dribble, cannot. Three pointers away, hands up. No such luck, rebound Patriots. They're gonna bring it up, shoulder dip, and you're good. Ethan Day with the layup. Trap again is missed. Pick and roll. Kick, yes, over to Luna. Luna gets a... Balls away, Delgado is long. Griffin rebound on the opposite side, Luna. Luna brings it back, loses it. 
regains his dribble. And they're gonna call a foul on the hands, a slap. Ball inbound underneath their basket. Looks to be Luna to inbound. Kicks it over to number two. Dribbles, kicks it back to Delgado. Delgado playing a little two-man with Jackman. Back to Delgado. Delgado tries to break, kicks it over. Kicks it out. Balls away, that should be a, it's a three-pointer, number two. Damian Jackman, I thought his foot was on the line, but no replay here. Patriots trying to extend the Griffin defense to get lanes in the paint. High arcing shot, no good. Luna with the basketball, he's got a three on one break, can't get the pass. End of the second quarter. And at the half, the Griffins trail 26 to 29 to the visiting Revere Patriots here at Joe Kane Court on the campus of Greater Lowell Technical High School. We'll be back in a few minutes.
And the teams are back to, on Joe Kane Court here at Great Old Tech for the second half. The host Griffins trailed by three after a spirited first half where both teams had spurts, both teams had lulls, and everybody, I guess, had some enjoyment. Ryan Myers had to tell his team that they have to be aware of the trap. And not a trap game necessarily, but the trap on a basketball court. The, the Griffins were subjected to quite a lot of pressure defense from the visiting Patriots, and they didn't react as well as you would hope. And I guarantee you it's not as well as uh, Coach Myers had hoped. So he's hopefully, he's reminded his kids to play with their heads up, not down. And on the other side, I would say Coach Dave Leary has to be happy with much of his team's effort, but can't be too happy with uh, the number of turnovers that his team committed. Although that really went both ways. He's got to hope that his uh, senior laden basketball team uses their, their smarts and their expertise, their experience, to overcome this feisty little Griffins basketball team. They've got a size advantage. They seem to have a slight talent advantage, but you can never count out a bunch of kids from Lowell, Drake, Dunstable, and Tingsboro. We're always going to fight. It's about 30 seconds to go until uh, the second half begins. I believe the possession arrow points to the Griffins. They'll inbound it from our near side, the opposite side of the benches. Out there for the uh, Griffins, number zero. Yadiel Delgado kicks it into Luna. Luna's going to bring it up, switching hands across half court. They're trying to clear out. Patriots stay in their zone. 2 3, it looks like. And from the. Luna takes it into the paint. Nice jump shot. Trail is 1, 28 29 now. Griffin's trail. Patriots coming out a little more aggressive. They're a little more energetic. Cutter, turnover. Batted out of his hands. Luna takes it, kicks it over. Maybe should have taken it himself. Kicks it back. Delgado at the top of the key. He's bringing it, he's out by half court. Kicking it over again. Left-handed dribble, kicks around. D Jutsa, Delgado again. He's got Jackman out there with him. Kicks it over. Luna with the basketball pick, hop, jump stop, in and out, balls off of the Patriots. Griffin's basketball, tight, tight rope walk there. Maybe they needed the gymnasts or the cheerleaders to uh, walk that fine blue line here at Joe Kane Court. Inbound, trying to get it inside. Oh, throws it away, easy breakaway. Delgado's gonna chase it down. Knocks the basketball away, but gets him on the wrist. So we'll get a foul here. Delgado not given the easy layup, trailing by one. That'll put uh, Ethan Day at the line, 4-2. Makes the first, extends the lead to 30-28. <coughs> Second one's away, Delgado jumps up. And that gets a lot of rim, but goes through the cylinder for two more. Griffin's trail by three, 31-28. Delgado brings the basketball up, sees the trap. Luna's back there with him. He's stuck. Jump basketball, kicks it away. Across to Jackman, Jackman's blocked. Jutsu with the rebound, puts it back in. Griffin's trail 31-30 now. Nice follow up, nice heads up play there by Jackman. Number 25, McDonald, pardon me, Grayson McDonald. Easy basket there for the Patriots going the other way. Moon is gonna cut two and gets cut out. 
says it's off of zero, the official. Joshua Mercado, inbound Luna. Luna kicks it out to number two, Damian Jackman. Kicks it under the pat. Takes it underneath, lost again, McDonald. That was wild. Could have called it either way, offensive or defensive foul. Kicks it into the low block, Luna. Delgado, Jackman's got the basketballs. Gets a pick from McDonald, kicks it over to the corner. Back out, dribbles back out to the top, Delgado. Jackman with the basketball, kicks it over to Luna. Luna, three-pointer away and good. Tie ball game here, Jack. Joe Kane, boy. Easy, they're gonna give him the open lane. Oh, throws it across court and out of bounds. Turnover by the Patriots. Pass was just a little too hard. Too much zip. They try to trap as the basketball comes across half court again. Serious height advantage there with number five guarding. Back out, Luna's gonna get it. Stutter step kicks. Delgado with the basketball away and it's long and no good. 13 breaks it across and he's gonna get slapped on the arm by Jutsa. Day. Fouls on the floor, so no shots there. Tie ball game, 4.52 to go, third quarter. Tries to put it in the block. Fall away jumper in and out. Day, no good. On the rebound. Luna with the basketball. Looks to be aggressive, pulls it away. Jackman with the basketball. Jump step, stutter step. Back, kicks it over, Jutsa. Goes into the hoop, under, in, no good. Turnover, Griffins, kicked it up. Step back, over the head, three-pointer, it's good. Can't believe that shot went through there. Luke Ellis, 6'3", senior with the shot. Not a pretty stroke, but it's effective. Jutsu with the basketball, gets his legs cut out from underneath him. He's out of bounds, turnover. Ball hit him in the legs as he was standing on the end line. Turnover for the Griffins. Patriots to inbound. Little full, full court pressure from the host Griffins. They're gonna let it go. Number four with the basketball. Avi Long, 5'10", junior. Kicks it, brings it around. Tries to cut to the hole. A little up, under, and through. Long with the nice, picturesque swish to bring the lead back up to four. Full court pressure, uh, no, half court pressure again. And we're gonna get a foul. Looks to be on Joshua Mercado. He tries to plead his case to the official, no, no avail. Can't buy love, can't buy a foul, a foul reversal. So Luna, correction. Jackman to inbound the basketball to Luna. Luna takes it in the backcourt for Luna with pressure. Gets through a pick. Basket kicks. Outside, way deep for Luna, short. Rebound, oh! We got a injured player. Damian Jackman got a facial on that. Not the ones you can get in the cosmetics. Classes here at Great Little Tech. Inbound. And it looks like Coach is going to have to make a substitution here for uh, Jackman, who's still wiping his face. Substitution in. Number zero, Yadiel Delgado, the sophomore. Luna with the basketball. 
Kicks it over to McDonald. McDonald almost gets run over on the pass. That was 35, Sandin. Keeps his head up. Back to Delgado. Pressure, kicking it around. Three pointers away. In and out, no good. Nobody deep. Easy layup. Oh, misses the bunny. Over the back block for the Patriots. Three pointer, nope. Pulls it up, tries to kick it. This time he brings it in there. Timeout, Patriots, I believe. Amir Yamani with that, the 6'5", senior. All legs and arms. Throws a little hook up there. Six point lead for the visiting Patriots. Griffins need to re respond. Griffins are at clear disadvantage with the height differentials. They gotta find a way to, to box out. It really needs to be Grayson McDonald and David Sandin. Although Sandin doesn't look as short. He's listed as a guard. He looks taller to me. More built, more st stronger, I guess, is the word I want to use, really. Needs to use his butt to back, back these guys out of the lane or else they'll get eaten alive in the paint. Luna, in, Luna takes the inbound from Delgado. Oh, kicks it back to Delgado. Get it across half court, moving the basketball now. 10 with the three-pointer away. Oh, net, nice. RJ Sorby, three-pointer, cuts the lead to three. Ave Lung, basket, spin dribble, takes it into the lane, kicks it back out. There it is, bodies him up. McDonald blocks his shot. Muscle on lean. Lump it under, McDonald gets blocked from behind, but that's a foul on the visiting Patriots. Looks to be calling 2-2, Dominic Belmonte with the foul. McDonald at the line, shooting two. Too hard, too soft. Looks more like Rick Roby out there than uh, Kevin McHale or Larry Bird. That spin doesn't get him anywhere either, so he misses both free throws. Trailing by three. Trying to throw it back into the block. No such luck. Number one, Amir Yomani muscles his way up there against the skinny number 10. RJ Sorby. Sorby almost gets thrown under the basket with that pass. Back to Luna. Delgado cuts. Kicks it to Sorby. Sorby's three point is away. It's going to be wide. McDonald puts it back. For an easy two, 38-41. <coughs> pickpocket, Luna pickpockets. They're gonna say he he got him on the arm. Ball should be on the floor. Ave Lung goes to the line, shooting two apparently. Don't think he was in the act of shooting. I just think he got his flat shot is good. He makes the first. Lung listed at five foot ten. Looks about five foot ten, 135 pounds though. Makes both free throws. Extends the lead 43-38. Trap at the half court. Delgado with the basketball, playing two man up top. Kicks it low to Sorby. Sorby kicks it around. Back to Delgado on the other side. Back in there, shot clock. Oh, in and out. Rebound, Sorby. Delgado with the basketball now. Kicks it over to Sorby. Sorby loses it out of bounds. Could not handle the quick pass. Turnover for the Griffins. Ethan Day 
to inbound the basketball to Ave Lung, trailing by, leading by five, I should say. Inside one minute to go, 40 seconds on the clock. Lung gonna try to dribble it out. Griffins show some pressure, get picked out of it. Three pointers away, all net, number 22. Dominic Belmonte, all net, no one near him. They drop back, and he gets stupid foul. Lung hits him when he had plenty of space. I don't know whether Revere thought they could muscle the Griffins out of their own gym or not. There's not much to that, man. Delgado, Luna, in, out, easy rebound. Griffins have no height. Oh, ho. they're trying to, Patriots trying to create body contact. No such luck. Shots no good at the, as the quarter ends. But after three quarters complete, Griffins trail 38-46 to the visiting Revere Patriots here on Joe Kane Court at Greater Little Tech. As we begin the fourth quarter, Griffins trail by eight. Eight minutes to make up those eight points and get a lead. Key to this game, maybe putting Brian Myers in a, a, a Griffins jersey and having him out there to give them some, some actual legitimate size. Unfortunately, that's against the rules. So, Griffins are gonna have to toughen up. Looking at the Revere Patriots. There's not much girth to them, so, you know, maybe that with uh, Grayson McDonald out there, they need to put the 6-4 forward in the block and start muscling these skinny Patriots. Force them to foul. Griffins on defense opening the fourth quarter. Loon Young with the basketball, kicks it over. Three-pointer, no. Oh, Griffins try to steal the basketball, no choice. No joy in Mudville there. Pick and roll, easy layup, number one. Joshua Mercat, no, Amir Yamani, 6'5", senior. Nobody anywhere near 6'5", for the Griffins. They take it up, McDonald goes up and under, and he's gonna get the senior, Amir Yamani, for the foul. Not the prettiest of up and under dribbles. Let's see if he can do better this time. Nope. Back rims it and out. One more shot. This one's all net. Cuts the lead to nine. 48-39. And Yamani again gets it underneath, gets himself in the air. Easy off the backboard layup. Textbook basketball. Mercado, no correction. Jackman with that. Oh! Nice hook shot, Grayson McDonald. Nine point lead again. Trapping defense now. They break the trap though. Steal, stolen by the Griffins, two on one break. No, ball's kicked away. Should be Griffin basketball. Officials not making any gesture at this point. Yes, they are. They're pointing to ball. Luna. Luna inbound the basketball underneath his own boot. Go outside, they're trying to hook him. They gotta go to Delgado. Luna drives, kicks it. Oh, no, up and under, Daisy Duke. Almost thrown away, Delgado picks it off. Luna with the basketball. Has a two-man game, potentially with Jackman. Nope, Delgado cuts underneath, goes all the way across, tries to reverse his direction. Ball is up. Easy layup again. This time's number 22. Dominic Belmonte again. 
Griffin's getting run off the court in the low block. Jutes a wild shot, puts it up, but he's gonna get the foul. Amir Yamani cannot believe it. He's got his hands up in the air. Going, what do you call him? Ref. Jutes for two. That one's good. The Revere faithful sitting to my far right, screaming in the middle of the shot, hoping to get it out there. McDonald comes out, shoots her at the line. Misses the second one. But Jackman gets the rebound and throw, immediately throws it away. Substitution was Chris McDonough. The junior guard into the game now. Yamani trying to move the basketball. Call foul underneath. I believe they're gonna call it on the Griffins. And now we've got some. Oh, stolen again. He's on the floor, tie him up. Possession arrow, Griffins. So Griffins get the turnover on the tie-up. Luna gonna inbound the basketball. Who's gonna go back and help him though? Oh, Jutsa realizes it. Two men, pressure showing at half court. Luna takes it across. Delayed dribble, needs to kick it into the corner. And instead kicks it into a, the hands of a Patriot def defender. Bad play there. They're trying to move it away. Nope, that shot is short. Rebound by the newly inserted McDonough. Jackman's got the basketball. Throws it, no look pass, kicks it back. Jackman away. Jackman short. Rebound Patriots. Inside five minutes to go, 10 point lead for the Patriots. And what do we have? Call underneath, timeout maybe. Timeout Patriots. Just to regroup, maybe to give them a quick breather. So with 4.53 to go in the clock, Griffin's trail 42 to 52 to the guest Patriots. Patriots, may, may I remind you, are four and nine and four and nine entering this non-league contest up here in Tingsboro. While the uh, host Griffins are a mere two and nine, 0 oh and five in conference. This won't affect their conference record as this is a non-conference, non-league game, but good for points when you're trying to get into the tournament. Though with nine losses, it's gonna be a tough road travel for Greater Little Tech. Coach Joe Kane remains, remains in the huddle talking to his players. Brian Myers steps out, takes a seat, and a bottle of water. Inbound on the side. Dominic Belmonte to inbound it, kicks it all the way across. Oh, back to a pass. And no good. Foul, though, by the Griffins. Going to the line will be number 13, Ethan Day, the 6'1 soft junior. Class of 2025. Shockingly, that's a junior to some of us. And it'll be Amir Yamani at the line instead. He's on his tippy toes, but he cannot get that to fall. Not keen on his motion. He's, he's trying not to jump over the line. He makes the second one to extend the lead to 11, 53, 42. Griffin's trail here on their home court. Delgado kicks it around. Jackman kicks it over to Luna. Luna's got a three away. No good. Rebound. 
Jackman puts it back up, and two. 53-44, nine point lead, turnover, bad pass. Delgado kicks it over to Luna. Luna's gonna drive, kicks it. You see your mom, yes. Brendan Jutza, the sophomore, takes it to the hole, gets fouled on the shot. Missed the shot, unfortunately, but he'll get two foul shots. Stands well back at the line, makes the first one. Substitutions in for Revere. The captain, Andrew Leone back in. Jutsa with one more. High arcing shot around and out. Delgado knocks the basketball away. He's gonna pressure off full court. Continued pressure from the Griffins. They're gonna drive to the hole. Throws up a wild shot, rebound, back out. Yamani again, loses it, kicks it over. Luna's got the basketball, he kicks to Jutsa. Jutsa easy up in two. Lee cut the sixth. Full court pressure again. They break the trap. Three pointer away, no, they're gonna spin away. Kick it around, they're gonna work the clock. 13 with the basketball, Ethan Day. Kicks it over to the corner of the captain. Andrew Leone, Leone kicks it over to Yamani. Uh, Ave Lung, correction. There's Mercado. Kicks it, kicked away. Jutsa has it, he's got somebody on his back. He kicks it over, kicks it into the corner. Luna, two foot, set, in and out. Hustle by the Griffins, but no rebound. Full court pressure. Patriots kick back three, keep three back there. They get it over half court. Trap them again, trap them again. They can't, needed to grab the basketball. It's timeout Patriots here with 3.06 to go in the third, uh, fourth quarter. Leading by six, 53-47 here on Joe Kane Court at Greater Low Technical High School. This is Drake and Access Television's coverage of Greater Lowell Athletics here from Joe Kane, uh, Joe Kane Court on the campus of Riddle Little Tech here in Tingsboro, Massachusetts. This game is not being broadcast live, but you can catch it on Dragon Access Television's YouTube channel or Facebook page tomorrow, Tuesday, January 30th. Teams remain in the huddle with just over three minutes to go. Griffin's trying to make a spirited comeback, but just may not have enough gas in the tank to do it. Also could use some uh, height, as I've been saying all game, as Revere has a substantial height advantage. They don't st spend too much time standing next to each other, but there's clearly two, three, four inches between most of these players. Little spin dribble, taking it around, trying to get into the block. Lazy, I cannot. Offensive foul. Offensive foul called. Christian McDonough, all gung-ho about that call. Happy to take the charge to get the foul against his opponent. Across half court, you got Jackman to Luna. Back to Jackman. They got McDonough on the left. No, they kick, they're still playing two-man game over there. Takes to the hole. Kicks up a shot, turnover, blocked, and then kicked back to a Patriot defender. He's gonna try to take it low again, no, try to cut her. They're gonna play around the world in 80 days. Oh, nice, Jutes, a block shot. Get dirty, Griffins. Tie basketball, but possession, oh, possession arrow is favoring Greater Lowell. <laughs> has the basketball, kicks it back to Mer Jackman. Jackman, what are they doing? Jutes kicks the basketball. He's got it back to Jackman. They're trying to trap the basketball. That's what the Patriots are doing. Three pointers away, and no good. Jutes doesn't get the rebound. Swing and elbows.
fouls on number one, Jutsa, apparently. That was some aggressive elbows. If one of the Griffins takes that, you may get a flagrant foul. Jutsa on the rebound. He's gonna come over and trap. Oh, they miss, they foul, but no call. Griffins try to trap all night. They got Yamani, I believe, over there. Around the court, they're gonna work for the three. Oh, little floater from Yamani is good. It lead extended to eight again. Jackman not too happy with that. Luna's there. Ball's up, they steal it. And the foul will be called there again. Patriots think they're going to the line. Shooting foul. Little chippiness. Griffins need to keep that basketball low. You cannot have the basketball high when you've got two taller players around you. Oh, it's gonna be a side out of bounds. Ethan Data inbounds. Back to uh, Mercado. Mercado trying to break Jutz's ankles. No such luck. Gets it through the jumping trap. Griffins cannot leave their feet. Leaves it wide open. They're gonna make sure that pass is going, but I, clearly they're aggressive. Mercado again, knocked out of bounds. Patriots basketball on the sidelines, 106 to go, trailing by eight. Into the backcourt, Yamani over to Mercado. Mercado happy to st stop there and wait. Throws up a wild shot, no such luck. Buzzer went off, but the ball was already in the possession of the Griffins, so that's erroneous. They're gonna trap Luna, Luna breaks it, kicks it to Jutsa. Jutsa gets hit, no, must have set all ball. Could have gone the other way, no such luck. And the Griffins in Stred foul, it's either gonna be on two or one. Who do we got? They're gonna call a foul on Brendan Jutsa, the sophomore, forward. Ave Lung at the line, shooting two. In and out. Nothing smooth about that shot at all. You would expect more from a skinny kid. Second shot, again, no such good. Patriots use their height to kick it out to the top. Basketball remains with the visiting P Patriots. And nothing there. Easy layup. Number 14 comes in off the bench. Eric Mayorga, six foot sock junior. And they're just gonna dribble out the final 16 seconds. Oh no, tie it up. Foul's gonna be called on the floor. They're gonna call foul on number two. Damian Jackman and the Revere Faithful are, are chanting. Saying goodbye Griffins, see you, see you real soon. Got some Griffin fans looking back at him, tell him. And the final seconds tick away. Damian Jackman gets a ball, 
Shot off at the buzzer that counts, but the Griffins still lose 49 to 58 to the Guest Patriots. Griffins drop to two and 10 on the season. The Guest Patriots improve to five and 10, or five and nine, I should say. Stay tuned for tomorrow's action as the girls, Lady Griffins, take on, actually, I don't know, but the Dragon Access Television will be here again tomorrow night on Joe Kane Court for the ladies basketball game. We'll also see you Friday night from Drake at High School where boys basketball will return to Merrill Gymnasium. I'm Mark Nichols signing off for Drake and Saxon's Television. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.